Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at this Fisher & Paykel Smart Drive Motor and it's supposed to generate power yeah, that's wearing and also connect this up now that's not really the safest option to wire up but still And also do this. It lights up the the um the light bulb basically. Now, if I close this out real quick, guys, it'll make it a bit more better for you guys to understand how it works. Right, so when I turn this, it will generate power. Hmm. Well, you get the idea, you get the point. Okay, now it's not working. Okay, that's alright. And also, if I did have something that would turn this, which I do, I'll be right back. Okay, so we will undo this. See what's under here. And there is the coils, guys. And you got the rotor here as well. Got the rotor. Clever, huh? It's clever how it turns like that, basically. side okay I'll be right back in a minute hang on okay so basically I'm not really good with motors but I'm not really good with motors like this this is the rec drive smart drive motor from a washing machine washing machine so basically when this rotor turns basically it creates a magnetic field when you do that, when you spin it, it will actually generate electricity. Now let's put this on for a minute. Let's do that. Can you do that? Hang on, I got my multimeter. I will go grab that real quick. Oh, so basically when I turn this gigantic motor it creates up to so I got a maximum of 132 volts and that's quite a lot and that is way more than enough to power a simple incandescent bulb such as this now this is a 240 volt 25 watt light bulb you can tell that it's not blown because of the filament in there. If you actually hold it up to the light, you can actually see that it's actually not blown. Now, 
I wish to say if I go get a different bulb, that socket, I'll go get one. Well, let's try one of these bulbs here. This is a 12 volt bulb. And Damien, can you please stop calling me? I'm recording. Next time I'll block you. Good luck trying to call me then. No, this is a 12 volt bulb. Okay. That bulb doesn't work because that's blown. Okay. Um, I do have a series of bulbs that I can try out. In that little box right there. Do you have a series of them? This bowl will probably work, probably not, I don't know. But we will try it anyway. This is an old lamp that we can try and power. Well, I might have just connected it up backwards and you didn't even know, and that's not connected anymore. That is not blown, it doesn't make any noise when I shake it. not working okay 12 volts 50 watts okay apparently oh i think this is dc power Wait that why That will not work because it's got an exposed cover on it. A bunch of mercury in there. Ooh. Yeah. Going bowl. Working filament on it. Oh, I got an idea. Okay hey guys, this is what it does when I turn it. Clever. Got one less thing that I can try for you guys. LED down light I took apart.
Blue is neutral and brown is alive. Okay, now let's try this out, say. You guys don't like flashing lights? Don't even look. Whoa. At least it works. It gets bright too actually, it gets real bright. I'm going to zoom you guys in on this action. You guys don't like it, just put it face down like that. Look at that. That's clever how it works. That's amazing. I'm turning the rotor, you can see how it does it. Wow. Point it towards you guys like that. Point the camera towards the LEDs and zoom in on there. This should be interesting. Okay. That's amazing what it can do. Disconnected. And last, last thing that we can do today on today's video of fun. Something with a drill, not my drill. Someone else's drill. Okay guys, so we'll have to hook up the multimeter again that's going to be annoying because i've just disconnected it so your negative plus your solid black and your stripey black is your positive lead all right so it's all hooked up test it out by doing this Nice. And we will grab the drill. Oops, trips on the lead. And we will do this. See how much voltage we can get out. Okay.
high voltage. Three hundred volts. Four hundred. Oops! Stop for a minute. The clutch is on low. Okay. Five hundred. Seven hundred volts. That's awesome. Right, I'm going to zoom you guys down onto the multimeter. Zoom you guys down like that. We're going to see how much voltage we can get out of this thing now. Let's go if we open up the curtains. Like that. You guys look down at the multimeter while I will spin the shaft real fast. After way over voltage. Seven hundred and fifteen volts. That's amazing. You watch how fast this shaft spins. This is for demonstration purposes only. Do not try this at home. All we're back is generating over 240 volts. Over 240 volts. That's a lot of energy, enough to power a 240 volt light bulb for a day. Stanley Fat Max. <laughs> That's funny. Right, so switch it back there on speed one. Okay. Easy generator like twenty six volts, eighty three, a hundred. You get standard American household usage. That's 118 volts, 120, 130, 160 volts. That is quite a bit of energy there, guys. Even for why it's spinning it by hand can get a lot of voltage. That's mad. I just want to have one more look inside the shaft before we pack up. Here we 
There we go. And you've got the magnets in there. This is a DC brushless motor. It's pretty much how it spins like that. It's amazing though, it's pretty good actually. Coils aren't even warm. That's amazing. Pure free energy. Free energy out of that. Also, this is a free phase motor. You can see the leads down there. They go off. And you see, move that out of the way. Right. Okay, so you got your yellow one right here. You've got the three phase wires that go into the stator. Wish I had the tools to get it off, but no, I don't. If you hook something up that is free phase, something like a free phase motor, it will turn it. And I mean, it would turn it. It really, really would. Oh, actually, I do have a motor, a DC motor. Oh, wait, that will fry it. <laughs> That will fry the thing. It will fry it. This is an alternating current motor, which is also AC, AC powered. This thing is designed to run on 240 volts AC power, but I am planning on getting a rectifier and using it as a proper generator. So I saw this guy on on YouTube. YouTube name Angry Ram, how to convert a washing machine motor into a generator for a hydro dam or for a river, which is like hydro powered. Basically, and also, you notice it's actually got vents in the motor as well in order to keep it cool while it's running, even when it's running on high speed. Something like this, guys. That's amazing. There. One more. Like that, guys. Cool though. Feel the air coming out. I can feel air coming out of that. And also, guys, I'll show you something real cool that you could actually do with this motor. You can actually make sparks on this thing as well. So hook it up like this. I know it's pretty sketchy, but still, it's pretty, pretty, pretty sketchy wiring. <laughs> but don't worry about it, guys. I've done this before. No one was hurt, thankfully. And basically, while running this motor, I can actually try and short these two together and make a regenerative electricity stop basically magnetic stop
turn that off what see magnetically breaking magnet breaking Makes a very, very funny noise when they're sorted up like that. It's incredible. Oh! Guys, I noticed something. Watch the wires when I turn it. Get a better view for you guys. Not sure if it's very good, but still. That's incredible. Let me know if you guys can actually see that. Because that is amazing. What electricity can do. I'm trying to adjust the tripod. That's amazing. But separate those wires from each other. And yeah, just freely spins like that. Yeah guys, that about wraps up for this video. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe and get notified. And let me know what I should probably do with this. This motor here. Yay. It seems like a pretty good motor to play with. It certainly is. Oh, also, it's got this one here. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two fingers on it. That's quite a bit. Cheers for watching, guys, and peace out, baby. I don't know why I said that, that's just extremely awkward. Thanks for watching guys and have a good day.
Another video like this will be coming up soon. Cheers for watching.